So we're going to look at God's Word today, and that's something so unique and so special and so particular here that I know it's going to be life-changing and revolutionary. And so I just ask you to open up your mind for just a few moments. I won't take long. And I want you to look in the Word. I want you to pay attention to this Word, and I want you to believe that that Word alone, this Word alone, is all you need. This is all you need. Does anybody need so I need every chair in your field. And I don't need anybody knocking on doors. That would help. I don't really need anybody to tell anybody to come. That would help. Don't need any musician. That would help. All I need is to stand on the Word of God. All I need is faith because faith is the substance of things hoped for. That is the things I see. Does anybody need to take their business to the next level? God has given me the pleasure to be in business. And I tell you what, I pay some big payrolls and then I get a dollar. You know, it's like that in business. Can anybody identify? Everybody gets paid. The vendors get paid. The employees get paid. Everybody gets paid. And then sometimes when it comes down to you, there's nothing left. But I know through faith today, you can get your interest. Through faith today, you can receive your relief. That's some people that have careers and they put the training in and they put the time in and all they want is a job. A job that will put them in position to do what they were born to do. That's all some people want. Well, how do I get that? Faith is the sudden of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So over here in this particular lesson, I'm going to look at Luke chapter 17 and I'm going to look at uh, verses 11 through 19. But today I'm going to focus on 14, 15, and 16. Now that's Luke chapter what? Chapter 17 and we're going to uh, look specifically at verse what? 14, 15, and, and 16. We're just going to look at three verses extremely uh, swiftly so that we can have some impact in our lives. Fourteen. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. And in this little bit, what is this really talking about? And it's my job today to help you go deeper to help reveal and expose the truth of this text so that faith can be unlocked in your life. And when faith is unlocked in your life, we've already discussed that your circumstances and your environment and the totality of your being will see tremendous change. Amen? Anybody with me? Amen. The first thing I want you to see is that we have the pleasure of seeing and knowing how the story ends. We have the pleasure of knowing that there were 10 people that had a skin condition, that had leprosy, which was really a condition of the blood. And so there were 10 people. And those 10 people came to Jesus. They asked Jesus to do something in their life. Did Jesus do it? Yes or no? So Jesus did it. They were healed. Their condition was removed. So we know how the story ends. But they did They didn't know how the story would end. They hoped the story would end good, but they didn't know the story would end good. And so I want you to forget about how it ends. And I want you to come back to the beginning, and I want you to put yourself in the position of these ten individuals. Maybe one of them named Larry, one of them named Bobby, one of them named Tommy. But put yourself in the shoe branding of one of those individuals. Jason, I would like for you to be one of the individuals in the crowd. And all around the room, Angie, be one of the individuals in that team. Now here, there's a funny thing here. Over there, when you see that, it says, on the way to Jerusalem, he was passing between Samaria and Galilee. Now, well, we know Jesus had some roots in Galilee, and so Galilee was not a place that really believed in the power of God that was operating in Jesus' life. And so on this end, they sort of believe. Sort of believe. And over here on this end, when we talk about Samaria, and we talk about the Samaritans, God sent his word, and just stay with 
heaven. It's not all catch up to it. God sent his word to the Jews. And so the Samaritans were a different group from the Jews, and they didn't have full opportunity to participate and so it seen in the word of God that was on display in the life of Jesus Christ. So we had them over here on this side, kind of believe. We had them on that side, just found out who we were. And the Bible says, faith, total trust and dependence on Almighty God is that which unlocks breakthrough in your life. On this side, I kind of believe. On this side, I'm just finding out who he is. Now, how can I, who kind of believe, how can I, who really don't know who he is? I really can't quote a scripture in the Bible. I can't tell you much about the Old Testament, can't tell you how many books in the Old Testament, and, and I just can't tell you much about Jesus. Don't know where he was born, don't know much about Jesus, but how can you, when you're standing in between that moment, how can you have the audacity to ask God for anything? Because you know it takes faith. And to have faith, you've got to have understanding and knowledge of who he is. So how can you act when you don't know who God is? And so this is the position these ten individuals are in. You have some there that kind of believe something about him. Then you have some that just heard about him. 